Hey, it's Jack from Alpha Charts with a state of the market video. Today is February 10th, 2024. Before we get started, this video is for informational purposes only. These are not recommendations to buy, sell, or hold any stock or security. Now, I may hold positions in some of the equities mentioned. Know your time frame and risk tolerance. All right. Thank you for watching these videos. I do appreciate it. If you haven't done so, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel just right below. Um, a couple other real quick notes. I do uh, have a pretty good uh, Twitter presence or X presence at AlphaTrust365. I post things all the time on there for free for everybody. So make sure you um, you know check me out there. And if you really like my stuff for only $10 a month, again, it's $10 per month. Um, I offer a subscriber group. You know, it's really a co-pilot type thing where, you know, I'm going to give you my research. If you don't want to spend the you know 20 or 30 hours a week, I'm doing my research. You only want to spend a few hours a week doing your research. Um, you know, I'm going to give you, you know, videos, uh, end of week videos, midweek videos. I'm going to give you market notes, annotated charts, focus lists, you know, like, you know, so again, you get to choose how you want to consume it. You could consume all of it. You want to consume parts of it. Whatever you want, I'm also going to give you access. You know, if you have a question about one of your charts, maybe it's not what I'm looking at. Maybe it's, but you like the name. You know, I'll give my opinion on the chart. And again, you get to make all the decisions yourself. I don't tell you to buy or sell anything. Um, you manage it, your own risk and all that kind of stuff. Again, it's just to give you, you know, another person to, you know, especially if you work full time. It's so hard, I think, to, you know, I know because I do as well, you know, to do all the research and to do everything you want to do and be actively participating in the market. So it's only 10 bucks a month, cheaper than, you know, a, one Chipotle meal, right? So, um, yeah, check it out at Alpha Charge 365. Um, also, just so you know, I, I started a, um, a free kind of, I don't, I don't even call it a newsletter. It's just whatever's on my mind at the time, right? So I wrote one the other day, it's time for solar, talking about, you know, hey, you know, solar is starting to look pretty good, bottoming, whatever. Um, and then a name at the end. It's however, basically it's whatever's on my mind about the market at that time. And it's a quick hit, right? These are only quick hits. That's what I'm calling it. Uh, because I don't want it to be very long. It's going to be boom, boom, boom. This is what I think. These are the charts. Enough. Enough that you're going to want to open the email. So it's through alphacharts365.beehive.com. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a link in the description below, as well as a link to my subscriber group. Check them both out. I think you'll be very happy. All right. So let's go into the markets. All right, so here's SPY breaking out all-time highs. Yes, we're extended. Yes, there is some declining volume here. Um, but overall, things are looking absolutely fine. Looks very, very bullish you know, on the weekly chart. You know, um, things, uh, you know, we've had just strong bull. I mean, look at all, the, all these weeks of just strong bull run all the way from the end of October. Pretty, pretty impressive. Um, that's on the SPY. Uh, looking at the RSP, again, we were up 1.39 on the SPY. RSP was up half a percent. And, you know, it's broken, you know, broke out, retested, and now it's moving higher again. Breath is expanding. And I think that's a positive in general. And RSP looks really good. Going back to the daily, we do have this general area. box. That looks like we're about to break out of on the RSP. And again, I think that is a really, really positive uh, development for breath. And so that looks super awesome. Q's up 0.98 on the day. I mean, but just it broke out of the same looking base as the SPY and up 1.87 on the week. Again, just a beautiful breakout on the weekly chart. You can see this and just marching higher. Equated, did almost as good on the, the weekly chart. And, you know, we're getting up to this $90 area. We'll see what happens when price gets up that way. But overall, everything is just looking very, very strong um, in in the Qs and the equated Qs. Um, mid caps, MDY, we were watching for this breakout. Didn't quite happen yet, right? I had this area, this 
500 area as a potential area. Well, you know what? Now we're going to move it up here, right? And, you know, this is the area that I'm interested in, right? Looks a lot like the RSP in, in, in its kind of, um, you know, the way it's going to break out, how it's kind of a base on base. And that's because they're both mostly equated, and that would make sense, right? So, again, a break above 514, 515. And I think we're going to be getting to all-time highs in the mid-caps pretty close, pretty soon. Um, breakout looks nice. And the IWM. So, IWM has had a very long time of consolidation. We're talking about, you know, two-plus years now of consolidation. And we have this kind of pullback to the 50-day. Now, every pullback since then has defeated the 50-day, right? Gone below it. Everyone, everyone, everyone. This is a change of character. The rising 50-day held here, and I would argue it held here. We'll zoom in here, right? It got to it. Yeah, it undercut it, but basically that's the only time it closed below it. You know, close right at it here as moving higher. You know, as price gets back into this 200 ish area, um, you know, it has a little kind of double bottom look right there. I think things can go <clears throat> finally be breaking out for IWM. We'll see. We'll see. But I think that it's, um, it maybe it's time. So very bullish index roundup. I mean, every bullish looks. Uh, every index looks very, very bullish. So, again, will there be pullbacks? Will there be shakeouts along the way? Absolutely. But for now, they look okay. And on not only on the on the cap weighted side, but on the index on the uh, equal weighted side. So let's look at some of the um sectors. XLF. You know, again, a very nice bullish look to it on the week. I like looking at the weeklies up 0.26, which is absolutely fine. Held, you know, back here, we were talking about how, you know, it was in danger of potentially breaking, and these were, you know, questionable areas, and then made the higher low here and just took off, and really higher low here. So it looks really good, XLF, SMH, just a monster week, week after week, just monster weeks in SMH. So uh, this is the cap weighted again. It led the market with this breakout led the market higher and really from this november bottom october 30th whatever you want to call it it is up 50 percent. pretty crazy you don't even have to own a stock you know you could own an etf ends up 50 percent. amazing um on the daily yeah is it extended sure you know so would we get something like this yeah, I think this is, you know, we, whether you want to call this a cross back or whatever you want to call this, or maybe go sideways here, but this, you know, pullback in the moving averages makes sense. It may give you an opportunity to get a position if you if you want one. Um, looking at the XSD, this is the equal weighted semiconductor ETF. And you can see how I kind of move this around a little bit. You know, it's kind of trying to, break out of here and then it'll have maybe have some issues up here 250 you know the cap weighted ones are really you know leading this market versus the smaller semiconductor names just the way it is right now we don't get to choose that's the market we have uh looking forward looking next to the um let's go to itb this is the home construction and you see again nice flat base right there um after the breakout very very bullish um, on, on the home, home construction side, uh, let's go look at XHB against a different quite look. This one already broke out. It has some more of the um, retailers and stuff like that in there. Um, but this one already broke out of a similar enough looking base. Again, very bullish look. Can't make this up. This is really good. Um, and let's go to IYT. IYT. And IYT, I had... A trend line on my other charting software. Is that YT? Maybe it wasn't. Anyway, um, this is coming up to this all time high area, 280. And I think that, uh, yeah, I mean, we got room to the upside some more. It's going there. I think we easily hit this, this 280 ish level. 
in IYT. And then last one is XTN, again, equal weighted transports. And this is one that is also doing just absolutely fine. Um, not quite as good as IYT, but you see it's back above all its moving averages. And um, yeah, doing fine. So we look at all the sectors. Nothing is screaming trouble on the sectors. Everything is saying, um, you yeah, know, things are fine, right? Everything is saying things are fine. Let's go into the internals. What do they show? Start with the VIX. Go to line chart and take off these moving averages. Okay. Uh, so VIX, yeah, a little turn higher, but that's nothing to speak of. We're still under 13. And... So we'll call this a bullish range, even though it's kind of widening a little bit. So bullish range. And this is bullish price action for the VIX, right? We're in a bull market. Uh, let's look at the put call ratio. Uh, no, let's look at bonds. Bond spreads still tightening, right? They are still tightening. And so there's nothing to see here. Everything looks really, really good. On the bond spreads. We'll even look over here. New highs, new lows. While well, we got them up. Looks good, right? We're making more new highs and new lows. Right here, momentum. We're going from maybe some uh, slowing momentum to increasing momentum. That looks good. Uh, so credit looks good. Let's look at put call ratio. Put call ratio. It's in a bullish range, right? So we're not extreme. We're in a bullish range. And even if we got to extreme, it can stay in this range for a while. This is the signal up here, right? And this, you know, when we were a little cautious back here, January 10th, we got a signal that said, nope, it's a bull market, right? Because everyone got bearish, right? People are on one side of the boat. And it's been a bull market ever since. And, you know, you know, it was bull market the whole way. But again, it was this was a little wiggle waggle on there that was, you know, things were like slowing down some. Uh, but again, it told us that, no, we're in a bull market. And we are. And then let's talk about um, percent of stocks above the 50-day. And I would have liked to see this actually come down a little further. Um, doesn't mean it still can't, you know, with a shakeout or two. Um, but usually we get a little bit under to 30, 20, 30 ish area. Um, we haven't quite done it yet. Doesn't mean that we're not going to. You can see it could take some time and, you know, and it's it's fine. You know, it's letting us stay in the strongest names we can. And that's the, that's the important thing, just staying in the strongest names. So we may see this, you know, percent of stocks above the 50 day have a, a little bit of decline, something like this, right? Um, it doesn't have to be sharp like this. You know, a lot of times it's not a straight line. You can see like in here and then boom, you know, in here, then boom, right? A lot of times it does stop around this 50 and then rebounds a little bit. So we may get that. So there may be, and again, that would just be a shakeout, I think. That would get me even, you know, if we got down here, that would make me even more bullish. Looking at the dollar, Here's the dollar index, switch charts. And, you know, so we talked about this area being resistance. It absolutely was. And the last few days have been really great in the markets with the falling dollar. Um, you know, the question is, is it some sort of flag? And does it break out above this 104, 50, 60? Or do we come back and come back to this $100 level and stay in this range? You know, we, we won't know that, but if we do break out, that would be negative on stocks, right? Bearish on stocks. And if we continue to fall or even just drift sideways to lower, that would be definitely bullish for stocks. So that's how I'm looking at the dollar um, right now. Again, it's kind of basing. Breakout here would be the bearish scenario. So it's something, you know, everything can't be bullish all the time. There always has to be some sort of concern, right? I think that's the concern. Then looking at the 10-year yield, uh, similar to the dollar, we're into a resistance zone. If this breaks higher, it's probably going to hurt small mid caps, and all stocks potentially, but especially the small and the mids. And, um, and again, a break higher here, and that'd be a problem. So those are two things that could cause some issues going forward. Um, but everything else, everything else looks absolutely fantastic, right? Absolutely fantastic. 
So this is, you know, above 500, you know, psychological level. Again, are we extended? Absolutely. Is the, Does that mean it's the end of the cycle? I don't think so. We're not there yet. Uh, it's a bull market. So let's treat it like one. And, uh, and y'all have a great day. Again, check me out at Alpha Church 365 on X. Figure out, ch check out the, the, um, the subscriber group. Also on Beehive right there. Links down below. Have a great day, everybody.